Alright, so here we are. Thank you, Spencer. You've been a joy to us for many years, but we simply can't keep you any longer. Cheer up, though. Come on, At least you'll trust. still be useful here. I know, sir. Thank you, sir. Spencer's Demotion. That evening, oh, the big engines were talking to each other. They were in the oh, middle of complaining so about goods trains like when James came rushing in. You look upset, James. What's wrong? <laughs> Maybe Sir Topham had to put a limit on how many washdowns he can have per day. Oh, shut up, Gordon. This is important. I overheard the Duke and Duchess talking to Spencer. Well, I think they've sold him to the railway. <laughs> Wait, what? That can't be right. Are you sure, James? I am. Oh, he's going to take our jobs from us. Or at the very least, Gordon's job. Rubbish! He's not taking my express. I've pulled that train for years. I'm, it's not just going to be taken away from me like that. Ahem! Oh, um, uh, hello, sir. I understand the situation has caused some <laughs> confusion, so I'm going to clear up a few things. Spencer's a part of our fleet now. Since times are changing on the mainland, coal and water are becoming scarier. It's come to the point where the Duke and Duchess could no longer keep Spencer. But, sir, what does that mean for us? Quiet! As I was saying, he will not be taking anyone's jobs away. I want you all to be on your best behavior. Times were, in fact, changing, and the big engines didn't know how to feel. Neither did Spencer. I can't believe this. The Duke replaces me with... with some diesel. A diesel. I don't understand why I'm so surprised. I always knew this was going to happen. Spencer fell asleep, alone as usual. The next morning, Spencer was sent to pull the local. He was not pleased one bit about this. Driver, the local, the local? Honestly, I don't understand why I can't pull the express. I'm much faster than that galloping sausage. Look, that's Gordon's job. I can't do much about that. Sorry, old boy. Fine, but I won't like it. And he didn't. Spencer didn't do very well pulling the local. He wasn't used to stopping at every station, and even when he did, he'd overshoot the platform. Oh, great, Why are these platforms so small? It's not that they're small, Spencer. You just don't pay enough attention to them. Well, they're still too small. Thanks so much. 
he was still making mistakes all the way until he arrived at Wellsworth. There, he saw Edward shunting trucks. Oh, hello, Spencer. <coughs> oh, you look grumpy. What's the matter? Or is that just how you always look? You always whiz by here whooshing steam, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> very funny. Look, I don't need your teasing. I'm having a very difficult time getting used to this. With what? With everything! The Duke and Duchess just just threw me out like I'm some weak old cat litter. All these years, all these years of service, and they just, they just went, oh, Spencer, you're too old. We need a new engine in just, in just one day. Hmm. Well, I am sorry, Spencer. It does seem like a change. And a big one, too. Huh. <laughs> You're telling me. But you'll adapt. You'll get a new chance. It isn't all bad here. Yeah, it's a demotion. I won't sugarcoat it. But being an engine, that's still working and running on a railway is better than being in the scrapyards. The Duke and Duchess cared about you, Spencer. Spencer was silent. They kept you for as long as they could. Even through all your little... Incidents. They still kept you. The other railway's been changing. Has been for years. Sometimes it's better to take it all in stride and adapt. If you ever need a place to sleep, there's always space in the sheds here with me. Edward was surprised. He'd never heard Spencer say thank you in all the years he'd known him. The passengers soon boarded Spencer's train and he left to go to Marin. Edward watched as he left the station. Maybe Spencer really could become the next member of the Northwestern Railway. Uh. Uh.